Hi, it's Jim Seamus from Emerson Swan, and I'm here today to introduce the newest Viridian circulator from Taiko. It's a model number VR1816. The VR1816 actually stands for something. The VR stands for variable pressure, and the 18 stands for 18 feet of shutoff head. The 16 also stands for 16 GPM. All of the new Taiko circulators, whether it's the VT, variable temperature 2218, all model numbers mean something now, which is a great thing from Taiko. So let's take a look at the new VR1816. The box itself has a picture of the circulator, some key bullet points to the features and benefits, and also a QR code on one side. On the other side of the box, we have a barcode and the model number. The box is resealable, which is nice, so you can show your customer base. Protected very well with a cardboard setting. And here we have the new Viridian pump. The Viridian VR1816 is the exact same flange to flange dimension as a 007, 007 IFC, 0015, Grunfoss 1558 FRC, uh, Velo Star 21. It, it covers uh, all of those ranges. The unit itself has three different modes of operation, and we're going to get into the settings in a little bit, but just to describe the modes of operation, this pump can be used for zoning when you zone with circulators, which the majority of New England does. It also has a setting for constant pressure, which is specifically designed for American zone valve systems, and most importantly, this has a third setting called proportional differential, which is designed specifically for thermostatic radiator valves. But we'll get into that a little bit later as we go through some more of the benefits of this pump. Uh, first and foremost, it has a dial, which we'll go over. It has an indicator light. And the indicator light has five different colors to give you uh, not only the modes of operation, but a few unique features. Um, the wiring of this circulator is done with 18 gauge stranded. And for me to give you a little demonstration of what's inside, we have knockouts on both sides. It comes with a standard knockout on one side. We have six inch 18 gauge stranded, which makes wiring a breeze. Most guys are going to come in with a 14 or a 12 gauge wire, wire nut this together, and you're able to put the wires right back in no problem. If you want, we have a knockout and a cap on the other side, so either way you can wire this pump. We've made it easier for you that way. So let's get into the settings and show you a little bit more of what this circulator can do. So let's take a look at the three modes of operation. We'll start with the far right setting on the dial in what we call fixed speed mode. This is an infinite variable. It's indicated by a blue status light. So when the zone calls, the blue indicator light turns on. If I set this circulator at the minimum flow rate, it's going to operate like a 005 However, it's going to be utilizing about 9 watts of power. If I move the dial to the middle setting of fixed speed mode, I'm going to get the exact same performance as a 007. The nice part about the performance at a 007 is I'm going to be creating that with one quarter of the electricity, 22 watts of power. As I turn all the way to the end or the maximum setting, I'm going to get the full performance of a Taiko 0015 or a Grunfoss 1558. That's fixed speed mode. So let's move over to the second most popular setting for New England, which is zoning with zone valves. When you set the unit for zoning with zone valves, this is called constant pressure mode. That's indicated by an orange light. The orange light has three different settings, and we decided to make it real easy for our contractor base. When you size a circulator for zone valves, there's two critical ingredients. Number one is the flow, and number two is the head or the resistance. We made it real easy with this dial, whereas if your longest length of pipe 
is 70 feet, your longest zone, you can set it at 5. If your longest length of pipe is under 140 feet, you can set this dial at 10. And if your longest length of pipe is 210 feet, you set it at 15. The pump will react to the zone valves opening and closing. If one zone valve is open, it's going to create that differential pressure. And if another zone valve opens, it's going to speed up to maintain that differential pressure. If all three or four open, it'll continue to speed up to maximize that. As the zones close off, the pump will actually slow down automatically for you. That's our second mode of operation called constant pressure. Our final mode of operation is proportional pressure. Proportional pressure is specifically designed for European panel radiator systems that utilize thermostatic radiator valves. This setting has a green status light. And for those of you who use thermostatic radiator valves, you're going to turn this dial to the left. The status light has two additional colors. The two additional colors are, are some unique features to take on. First and foremost, when you have an ECM circulator, you want to make sure that you bleed your ECM circulator. This pump can tell if it is airbound. And what it will actually do is it will flash a white and red light if it's airbound. And it will speed up and slow down. It'll go from 9 watts to 44 watts 100 times or until it realizes that it's no longer airbound. That's a very unique feature of this circulator. Another neat feature of this circulator is we have an anti-blockage feature. And because it's an ECM circulator, we have a program in on the circulator that if anything, a solder ball, a piece of wood, a uh, black iron oxide, if anything puts resistance against the impeller and doesn't allow it to spin, the computer program recognizes this, goes to a solid white light, and then we'll spin the pump forward and backwards, vibrating it 100 tries in order to free itself. So not only does this indicator light tell you the mode of operation, it's also looking at protecting this circulator, not only from being airbound, but from being blocked by things. Thanks again for taking the time to look at our video going over the new Takeo VR1816. Remember, this meets all state efficiency rebate programs. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at 800-346-9215 or visit our website at www.emersonswan.com. Thanks again.